Hello guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a review video that I got a request for and sort of turn it into a comparison video with my Summer 30. This is the St. Cloud GM and I just want to do like a quick overview of both of the bags as well as what fits. Um, I don't remember the name of the girl that requested this video but <laughs> she commented on my last video but here you go. So this is the St. Cloud in the size GM in monogram canvas and it does have the Vaquetta strap as well as a little Vaquetta tab right here. It features a snap closure and it's it's a pretty strong snap closure you have to really like push it to get it closed and pull it open. The inside has like that just that um like a brown canvas material. It has one zipper on the inside and one open pocket on the back. Now these, because this bag is discontinued, you can only get it on the pre-love market. The one thing I have noticed about a lot of the bags um, on the pre-love market is that the inside pockets begin to peel and it gets sticky. So this is just a quick view of the back pocket showing the peeling and the stickiness. Um, so I guess you could clean that out. I think some people use acetone or nail polish remover, things like that. But I just don't really care to spend the time to do that for this one. Um, and then the inside pocket as well, it is peeling and sticky. So I wouldn't recommend putting SLGs, your phone, whatever, in sticky pockets because I would be afraid of like this transfer. Like you see on the back canvas that it's it's sort of transferred on there and it's like stuck on there. That might be kind of difficult to get off. So just be aware that if you buy this bag pre-loved, you may get st sticky peeling pockets. And the Summer 30 features a Vaquetta strip that runs lengthwise on both sides. There's a pocket on one side with the flap and then a pocket on the other side with the same flap. It is one piece of canvas continuous over the entire bag. Let's see, the back side has sort of like one main pocket and then a, another pocket that's kind of on the back side of it. The front side is just one, one big open pocket, so that's kind of nice. It does have a little Vaquetta tab right here that has the heat stamp on there that says Louis Vuitton, made in France, etc. Um, I don't know if that'll focus, yeah. The sides have these Vaquetta buckles that can loosen up the bag, I guess, if you fill it, fill it fuller. That way you can kind of give it a little bit more room to breathe, I guess. So that's what the inside looks like. It's it's like basically one saddle bag and it just kind of goes over this Vaquetta strap. So anyways. Okay, so I will start filling the St. Cloud GM to see what fits in here. Now this is sort of like my first impression because I have not used this bag as it is just too small for me. I don't think I could fit as much as I need in here. So I've got a little pile of my SLGs that I usually use on a daily basis. So let's start filling. I'm going to put in my agenda and this is the um, PM size. Just stick it in there. And a six key holder, Louis Vuitton monogram six key holder. And I'll use a compact, this is the Zippy Coin Purse in Damier e Bean that I'll just throw in there. Because if you're using this bag, you will probably be downsizing to your smaller SLGs. And I'll put a mini pochette because I generally carry something of this size to carry little toiletries and other random randomness. Okay, and cell phone, I have the iPhone SE for size reference. I think it is similar to the iPhone 6 size, iPhone 5, I'm not sure, but it's pretty small. So that's what's in there. You still have a little bit more room at the top, but it's pretty thin. It's, it's packed kind of full. Let me see if I snap it closed. 
Yeah, so that's that's pretty full. It is a very structured bag, so I don't think you're going to be able to stuff as much in there. And I never recommend overstuffing your bags that it might stress the canvas or stress the strap when you're carrying it if it is too heavy. So let me see if I take out the coin purse and I put in a clay. Obviously, that would fit and you would have a little bit more space in there. Yeah, it's about the same fit, you know. It didn't make much of a difference. Um, yeah, that's probably as much as would fit, or that's as much as I would be comfortable fitting in this bag. So, this is the St. Cloud GM, and it does have an adjustable strap, so you can change the length of it. I have mine set on the shortest setting and no this is the longest setting I'm sorry the longest setting and it goes to about hip length so okay filling these summer 30 I love this bag I use it um, as a diaper bag sort of with my son and it just works perfect the only um, complaint that I do have is that when it sits on your body the buckle right here that this is sort of hard to get into because it is up against your body and the buckles are a bit cumbersome to get in and out and in and out of so generally when I do carry it if there's things that I need I keep them in the front pocket and I just keep it unbuckled like this so it's just more accessible that way okay so front side I will put in my full-size wallet this is the international wallet in verney leather this color is amarant as well as the six key holder again i'll put my sunglasses in there cell phone and i'll put my agenda in too just because Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I generally carry in the front side of this, and there's still some more room to fit it in there. The only thing you have to be mindful of is when you do fill one side of this bag, the other side will not be able to hold as much because of the way this bag is laid out. So in the other side, I have my pochette accessoires in monogram. And it fits in there. It still has more wiggle room. So it is kind of a tight fit, but it works. And I put a key clay, a hairbrush. It's like a little mini, mini hairbrush. And I can stick my mini pasha in there too, just because. So. Oh, now it's getting a little heavy. <laughs> so that's with both pochettes in there, and there's still a little bit more room that you could fit things. I didn't put anything in this back pocket. It is a little bit more flat. Um, generally, when I do carry this, I have like a case that I carry wipes for my son because he is still in diapers, so I generally carry diapers and wipes. So you could fit the wipes back there those fit if you have another sort of flat case a uh, bigger agenda an iPad I think like an iPad mini would fit so this is yeah this is it the only thing I have left over here is the zippy compact or zippy coin purse and even that would fit if I stuck it in the front side so basically all of my SLGs that I really carry on a daily basis or that I am in regular rotation with all of them fit in this baby and if you can see it is full but it's not packed to capacity and if you did insert more into your purse you could always loosen this buckle here to give it a little bit more room so there she is I currently have my St. Cloud GM listed for sale which is why I wanted to do this video as quickly as possible because it might be selling today or not who knows um, but the summer 30 will be staying in my collection because I love her and she's just 
the best crossbody bag you could ever think of. <laughs> so, all right, that is it. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that other stuff. If you have any requests for other handbags or SLGs or anything, let me know. I would be glad to make them. So I hope to see you next time. Thanks.